morning everybody starting off the day with a nice little bike ride Zane and I have been doing this the last few days and it's been like really nice to just get outside nice weather and get some exercise in so I've got on my cycling shorts and my sneakers we're ready to go we've been on and off again and again I don't know which way we're going no control you push me then you pull me back in don't know if I can decipher how your mind works Yeah, you leave me wondering what it's like to feel your skin I will keep on trying to You like looking outside, bub? Benjino? Benji? What are you doing? <gasps> He's sitting like a lemur <laughs> Okay, we just got back from our bike ride. We're gonna have a nice, healthy, delicious lunch. This is a salad that I kind of made up and I've been wanting to share it with you guys. It is so delicious. Zane doesn't even really like salads and he loves this salad, so I'm proud of it. So the first thing that I'm gonna make for it is kind of like this onion jalapeno, kind of like a pico, but with no tomato because I'm gonna end up chopping up tomatoes and putting them on the salad itself so I don't want them in both. So I'm just using one medium onion and I'm just gonna dice it up. And I usually just make it right into this container because I know I'm not gonna use it all today so I might as well just make it in a lock and lock that I can just put a top on. All right, got the onion diced up. Now we're gonna do the jalapeno. This is just half of a jalapeno because we had it left over so you could do a whole one if you want more. All right, half of a jalapeno going in. I love having this leftover too because I'll put it in my eggs in the morning. I'll put it on top of any type of salad. It's just a yummy, fresh addition to a lot of things. Doing some fresh lemon juice. You could do bottled as well. Both is pretty similar to me. Next, I'm chopping up some fresh cilantro, some salt, a little bit of pep, putting on a top, and we shake. Delish. That's literally it. Just a super simple like onions and jalapeno little mixture thing. It's so good. So I'm gonna stick that in the fridge until we're ready to assemble the salad. Okay, next step we got a skillet preheated on medium heat. We're gonna add in some chicken tenderloins. And we're gonna season them with salt, pepper, garlic powder, and some cumin. You could also use like leftover rotisserie chicken or whatever kind of chicken you want. I just really like chicken tenderloins. While those are cooking up, we're gonna make a little bit of wannabe guac as well. I'm gonna do one and a half mini avocados, so probably about one full. I love scooping out avocado with a spoon. It's just so easy, just like that. And then you can go in and get the extras really easily as well. Scrape it all out from there. All right, we're gonna mash up our avocado. All right, to this, we're gonna do some lime juice. I'm actually gonna open another lime. Lots of lime in this recipe. Some salt, pepper, onion powder. If I was making this just like a regular guacamole to like dip in or whatever, I would add onions and cilantro and such, but we already have that in our other pico de gallo mixture kind of thing, so I'm not gonna overdo it. Delicious. I did the chicken for about two to three minutes on each side. I just go until it's color, honestly. I'm flipping them back over because the other side's getting a little too crispy for my liking. And I'm just gonna use the tongs and go like this. Chicken tenderloins are super tender, so it should be really easy to break it up. I just like doing it this way because I prefer kind of like almost shredded chicken rather than chunks of chicken. And now, once you break it up, now the other sides of the inside will get like nice and browned, you know? I don't know, I just think this is a really good method for chicken for salads. Now you easily have this like shredded kind of chicken. Oh my God, my bracelet just got stuck in these tongs. <laughs> what the heck? All right, now my chicken is obviously fully cooked. I turned off the heat. We're doing a little bit ooh, of lime juice. If you don't like lime juice, this is not gonna be the recipe for you. There's a lot of it in here. Now I'm just gonna take that off the heat while we assemble the salad, let it cool off a little bit. All right, I like using these big, kind of shallow bowls. This is gonna be your base. Don't skip any of these because they all add a good flavor. Some romaine, some romaine, some spinach, and then just quickly go in with my hands 
toss them together. You don't want one bite of romaine and then a whole bite of spinach. That just won't be yummy. So make sure it's combined. Salt, pepper. These little guys have also been my obsession lately. And this right here is personal preference. So you can slice them in half and leave them. I personally like to do them in quarters. Beautiful. Now we are grabbing our onion and jalapenos. A little bit right there. If you don't like white onion raw, I bet this would be just as good with red onion as well. The good stuff, some guac, right in the middle, adds a lot of flavor. Next, we're doing some reduced fat feta cheese. I'm trying to make this pretty. <laughs> and lastly, we are going to add on our chicken. Preferably, you can make the chicken beforehand and have it cooled off in the fridge so that it's like not warm chicken, but this is just how we had to do it today. And of course, we're gonna top with just a little bit more lime juice. Just a sprinkle, you don't have to go crazy. Zane and I really love lime juice and like the acidity of it, so if you don't like that much, you don't have to put that much. And there you have it, you guys. This salad is so bomb. You guys should totally try it. I don't know what, it's like a taco salad, kind of, not really. We'll call it Alyssa's salad for now because I don't have a name for it, but Alyssa's yummy salad, it is. And it's so freaking easy, you guys, and it like the flavor speaks for itself, like I promise. You guys gotta try this out, and if you don't like salads right now, then that's just because you've been having bland salads. Put stuff in your salad and it will be delicious. <laughs> gotta have flavor, some textures, you know? And even though this is so flavorful and delicious, this is so good for you, it's all good ingredients, it's healthy. I've had a new obsession with these little grape tomatoes. I usually hate tomatoes, but these in salads are so good. I've always loved cooked tomatoes. Like these cooked down are so yummy, but raw I never liked. But in here, I love them. And you don't even have like a high calorie dressing on here. It's literally just lime juice and you don't even miss out on the dressing, I'm telling you. Okay, I'm gonna go eat now, I'm gonna shut up. <laughs> All right, you guys, it is time for a haul. You guys know I love my hauls. <laughs> Featuring Bella eating her dinner in the background, gotta love it. You guys know that I love finding affordable options, anything that is a good deal, any sales or anything like that. Like, I'm all for the affordable clothing. And as much as I enjoy shopping for new things online, I also really enjoy thrift shopping, and obviously right now, kind of hard to get out there and go through shopping. Um, things are starting to slowly open up, but around here it's like looking pretty slow. So I found this online thrift store called ThreadUp. Yes, an online thrift store. Think about how much easier that is than going through racks of clothing, like so much easier. So thank you so, so much to ThreadUp for partnering with me on today's video because I am here for this. So their website makes it so easy to find what you're looking for. You can put in your sizing, you can put in colors, you can put in brands, you can put in styles, you can go for skirts, you can go for shirts, you don't have to look through racks of clothing. And they add thousands of items every single day, so you're always gonna see new stuff. They have so many different brands on there, you guys will see. I have stuff from Forever 21, Adidas, they have Lululemon on there. They have Free People also, and you can customize it to your favorite brands, and they go up to 90 percent off. Everything is high quality and in amazing condition. If not, still has tags on it, so you will not even be able to tell that it's secondhand. Honestly, every single piece that I got has like no wear or tear on it. So I wanted to add a few new pieces to my wardrobe for the summer, um, start to get excited for when it's safe to leave the house a little bit more often, have some new pieces to wear. So I'm really excited to show you this stuff, so let's try it all on. Here are all the pieces that I got that I'm gonna show you guys in just a minute. I also wanted to show you guys their packaging. Benji likes to sit in boxes. How cute is this? The little polka dot, and it comes with a cute little cat. Just kidding, it doesn't come with a cat, but he's pretty cute though. All right, anyways. Let's try some of this stuff on. By the way, you guys, I also have a code for you that is 30% off. I'm going to have it here on the screen and also in the description below. That's 30% off of their already low prices, so you're definitely getting a good discount there. All right, the first piece is this sports bra, and honestly, you guys, I don't know why anyone would even give this up. This fits so amazing. I got it in a size medium, and this was originally $36.99, and I got it for $22.99. When I was shopping on their site, I literally put black sports bra and so many came up there's literally like so many options for one type of piece of specific clothing i feel like when you go to the thrift store you find something you like and then you're kind of like screwed to find something similar if it's not in your size you know what i mean it's like very one of a kind whereas on here you can search something specific and see a ton of different options so i really loved like the cut of this oh my god this is gonna be like literally my new favorite sports bra this literally is one of the most flattering sports bras i've ever put on i'm not gonna lie all right this next piece is from airy and to be honest when 
I was shopping on the website, I totally thought that this was a full button down. So I was expecting to wear it as like an oversized open kind of flannel, but it's just a half button. But honestly, I feel like it's kind of cute. Like you can tuck it into the biker shorts. It's like a cute little good layering piece for like a summer night. But I did grab this in a large because I wanted it to be oversized. So I am glad that I did that. I feel like this could be like a cute loungy vibe. Maybe if I'm even feeling like DIYing, I can cut this down the middle and kind of make it like an open flannel rather than a half. Going thrifting to DIY is so much fun because you're not breaking the bank, but you don't feel bad like cutting things up because it wasn't too expensive, you know what I mean? And this estimated retail value was $48 and I got it for $18.99. All right, this next piece definitely has to be steamed, but hear me out because this... This is a freaking find, you guys. This is a jacket from H&M. It's definitely very thin, so I'm gonna use it totally in like the summer and springtime as like a small little layering piece. This is in a size two. It literally fits me perfectly. I just cuffed the sleeves once because they were just a little bit too long for my liking. But once this is steamed, like this is such a cute layering piece. Like picture it with like on top of like a cute bodycon dress with like some heels. Like, 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 like. <laughs> out to a dinner date or something. This is so sleek looking and it can double if you close it up and tie it up. Tell me this can't double as like a cute dress. It's got the pockets. You put on some heels. Do your hair all cute? Some earrings? She looks expensive. Again, obviously needs to be steamed. It'll look way, way better. But you guys, originally, $40 and I got it for $14.99. This is such a nice piece and I literally could see myself walking into H&M and purchasing this myself. So I am so glad that I found this. I genuinely am going to be wearing this a lot. This is so cute. This next top is from Forever 21 and it was originally $18 and I got it for $10.99. This is such a thick, nice material, and obviously picture it with a better bra. I have like a lacy black bralette that I would probably wear with this, or maybe just go like braless, but I just kept the sports bra on just because I had it on. But in New York, we just recently opened outdoor restaurant seating, so I'm picturing this with like a pair of denim shorts and like some cute sandals or some sneakers. Just such an easy piece to like dress up because of the material of it. It just looks so nice and fancy, but also so comfortable. This is definitely gonna be a cute piece to wear through the summer. Another one of my favorite pieces that I got, you know that I've recently been into working out, going out and on walks or bike rides or whatever. This said originally estimated $71 and I got it for $22.99. This is adorable. This is gonna last forever. I can tell it's just really nice quality. It's just a simple gray tank with the Adidas logo on it. And honestly, everything that I'm showing you guys, I'm pairing with biker shorts just for the try on, but Everything so far has looked pretty good with biker shorts, so these are all a bunch of summer looks that you could totally recreate by going and shopping with them and finding something similar. I kind of am obsessed with this shirt, I'm not going to lie, you guys. I don't have many baggy workout clothes. A lot of my stuff is like tight sports bras or tight tanks, so this is going to be a really nice like baggy piece to wear. I just love it. Wow, this is so cute. On the website, this is called a short sleeve blouse, but in my opinion, I'm going to use this as a uh, bathing suit cover-up. So this piece is originally from Gap, and its original price was $27, and I got it for $12.99. I think this is going to be the perfect cover-up for a bathing suit. It's very simple, white with a little blue embroidery here, and it's got the tie at the waist, so it's super flattering. This is so pretty. It gives me, like, shopping in Italy vibes. <laughs> All right, this is a champion track jacket. It's like a half zip. This was originally $37 and I got it for $17.99. It's got the little champion logo up here. So cute, so comfortable, and so easy to pair with literally everything. You wear it with like your shorts like I am now, jeans, shorts, whatever. This is just a simple plain hoodie from Ralph Lauren. It's like a waffle knit material. It is so comfortable. It's got a cute little logo right here. I got it in a size medium, so it was a little bit baggy. I love the fit of this. I love how bright white it is like this is like literally brand new originally $70 and I got it for $20.99 All right, I am obsessed with this one I'm picturing it with like a pair of mom jeans with some sandals or heels It's like this kind of see-through top from forever 21 originally $20 got it for $9.99. This is just so cool. I love the sleeve length. I think it looks really classy. It's just a really different 
cute piece. Perfect for the summertime with all these holes. <laughs> all right, last few pieces. This one is a simple little black dress. You can never have too many of these in your wardrobe. The material is so nice. It's like a silky, soft material. This, I believe, was estimated originally like $48, and I got it for $20.99. This is like the perfect amount of fitted and like loose. I feel like this is so cute. Also, I have on my sports bra, sorry, but it would be a lot cuter with just the strap of it, you know what I mean? These last two pieces I actually loved so much, I wore them to my recent photo shoot, so I'm not gonna try them on right now. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you'll see them there. This dress is from Forever 21, it's like a fitted beige dress, it was so flattering. And then this right here is a sheer blouse that you can button up, I wore it open at the photo shoot and it was so pretty. This is estimated $48 originally and I got it for $14.99. You guys, I am genuinely so impressed with thread up, you have no idea, like I I just showed you every single piece that I ordered that was every single thing and it all fit and looked good like how hard is that to find from an online website like I'm very impressed everything was true to the pictures everything was great quality I will 100% be shopping with ThreadUp again I am so excited now so if you guys are interested in online thrift shopping with ThreadUp as well I will have the link in my description and the code will be up on the screen you can get an additional 30% off of your purchase on top of their already amazing prices so go check it out click that link you guys are going to love it all right so I of course need to wash all of that before I wear any of it any of it so I just changed into some comfy clothes and I'm so ready to make some dinner I'm so hungry tonight we are gonna be making where you at where you at dun, 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 dun. Some healthy eggplant parm. I made this like two weeks ago off camera and it was so freaking good. I did not expect it to be that delicious. Even Zane loved it and he doesn't even really like eggplant. So that's when you know that it came out good. And you guys, okay, two things with this. One, I didn't use regatta in it because it bothers Zane's throat the way in it. He has like an allergy kind of problem with it. And B, I just didn't have it. So sometimes he likes to suffer even though he like certain things bother his throat, but he'll eat it anyway. So I was like, you know what? In a one of the comments on this recipe somebody was like I replaced the cottage the regatta with cottage cheese and it came out good and I was like oh that sounds kind of you know a little scary there like they're very different cheeses but I tried it and let me just tell you guys you cannot even tell that it's cottage cheese in there you could tell there's no regatta in there because obviously it's a very distinct flavor but for a healthy eggplant parm I'm very impressed with the way that the cottage cheese turned out in this like you it's just so good All right first step we're gonna preheat the oven to 450 hair is pulled back and I just went down the island This is where I want to prep everything a nice nice little schnazzy cook with me cutting board eggplant pans all right, so since we are making a lighter eggplant parm we're obviously not going to coat and fry in oil i'm sure you could do this in the air fryer if you wanted to coat them and fry them with breadcrumbs but to be honest the last time i made this i did not even miss that and this is way less work so i've got two pans here lined with aluminum foil i'm going to give them a spritz of olive oil spray i'm going to take the eggplant and we're going to cut the top of it off now we're going to slice them into slices that are about a quarter inch thick. Some people also don't like the skin of eggplant. I didn't mind it at all last time. So I'm just making some nice slices, throwing them right on the pan. I can't even tell you guys how delicious this was. It was just... It felt bad for you, you know what I mean? Like, those are my favorite meals. By the way, this is a skinny taste recipe, but it's not, I don't know if it's any, in any of her cookbooks, but I found it online. So I'll have it linked down below. You guys can easily click on it and cook this if you want to. I actually don't want to overcrowd these, but check it out. I've already filled two pans. Pans. <laughs> I'm watching too much Love Island. Um, last time I only used two pans, so I must have had a way smaller eggplant. You guys, I am so hungry right now, so I'm so excited for this. All right, beautiful. So now we've got three pans. She actually did say in the recipe that they can overlap a little bit, but that's okay. They wouldn't have all fit anyway, even if I did overlap them. But we're seasoning with some salt. Perfect timing. Okay, now these pans are gonna go into the oven for 20 minutes, but you're gonna flip them halfway. So I'm gonna put them on for 10, flip, and then another 10. 10 minutes, and we're starting now. Perfection, yay. All right, now's the part where we make what would be the regatta, so here we go. 
I'm getting my food scale and we are going to measure out 12 ounces of cottage cheese. So 12 ounces of ricotta, I just do 12 ounces of the same. I don't like change the measurements or anything. Okay, Google, stop timer. Damn it, we have to flip the eggplant. I'm gonna flip all these guys over. Okay, now we're gonna make what would be the regatta filling. So I'm doing 12 ounces of cottage cheese. The recipe also calls for 12 ounces of regatta. So I just did like the same exact amount and it came out exactly perfect. On to the next. All right, now to that, we're gonna add one large egg. And then I'm gonna tear my scale and we're gonna add a quarter cup of grated parm, which is 28 grams. Beautiful. It also calls for a quarter cup of fresh parsley, but I am just growing my parsley. It's not fully done. And I actually only have not a lot of dry parsley left. So I'm just gonna put in the rest of this bottle. And then to make up for it, I have a ton of fresh basil that's ready to be used. So I'm just gonna do a few leaves of this. I'm also gonna top the whole dish with it too, because I just love basil. Beautiful. I wish you guys could smell this right now. Let's do one more for good measure. Love me some basil. Little cooking tip, this is what I just did. So when you take a leaf of basil, you can go ahead and roll it up just like this. And it turns into like this little roll. And then once you cut that, it becomes these really pretty strips. It's called chiffonading. Chiffonade, chiffonading. I'm not sure the tense of that. Turns out really pretty. Not that it matters because it's gonna get cooked in, but okay, we're gonna combine all of that now. And there you have it. That's what it should look like. All right, next you're gonna get a nine by 12. I have a nine by 13. Any baking dish will do. All right, here's what the eggplant should look like. And now we are going to assemble. Before we do that though, you wanna bring your temperature down to 400. All right, I've got all my layers out. Here is the sauce that we're gonna use, tomato, basil, and garlic from Lidl. You can totally make homemade sauce if y'all want to. This is just easy. All right, we're starting with a half a cup of sauce right on the bottom here. And I'm just using this spoon from the cottage cheese to spread it out evenly. Now we're gonna do a layer of eggplant. Now we're gonna do about one third of this regatta, I mean cottage cheese mixture. Now we're gonna go in with some shredded mott, about three quarters of a cup, another three quarters cup of sauce. Now eggplant again. I think this is gonna be my last layer of cottage cheese. Spread that out. I know this sounds kind of weird because this is all just not the traditional way to go about this, but it is so good and so much less calorie dense. I promise you will like it. And this is gonna be my last layer of eggplant. I guess I could have put the ugly ones in the middle. That would have made more sense, but it's okay. I'm just gonna use up the rest of this jarred sauce. Okay, and top it off with mats. A little bit more. Also a little bit of fresh grated parm. Yummy. And there you have it, you guys. We're gonna cover this with tin foil. And that's gonna go in 400 degrees for, she says 40 minutes. I believe last time I did it for a little bit shorter because I was starving. Honestly, I just do it until it all seems hot, cheese is melted, and we're all heated up. So I'm probably gonna do it for about 25 minutes, but I'll let you guys know. 25 minutes, and we're starting now. While that's going, I just got a pot of water to boil. We have like this tiny amount of fettuccine left, so I'm gonna break them in half and just serve it with that, cause why not? What else are we gonna use this amount of pasta for? Definitely not to eat it on its own. And then I also just picked a bunch more fresh basil from my little garden. And we're gonna go ahead and cut that up so that we can top both the pasta and the eggplant parm with some fresh basil. So again, I'm just stacking, we're rolling, and we're chiffonading. Beautiful little strands of basil. You give me a sign. Give me a sign. Ah, oh, give me a sign. Baby, give me a sign. Just give me one more. You leave me hanging, begging for more. Think that I'm addicted to this. Can't resist to be a little risky and go. 
for it cause I want you close I'm so exposed when you're keeping me wondering You know I'd do anything to be in your arms again So give me a sign all right, it is officially done. I have a few disclaimers here. I definitely could be not impatient and let it sit and it wouldn't be as like watery, you know what I mean? Like it would like settle more. Also, yes, I gave Zane and I a lot because we're gonna go back for seconds and thirds anyway. Let's be real. So we might as well have it all on our plate. I baked it for I think 28 to 30 minutes and then I broiled it for about three minutes because I like that cheese on top to get like a little bit brown and crispy you know so you totally don't have to broil it but I like it that way we're gonna go do a taste test so I can watch Love Island and eat oh my god just look at it I'm so excited whoa you guys have to admit that Italian food is like one of the most comforting foods ever and red sauce is amazing but like Alfredo too oh my God, talk about guilty pleasure. You guys, I promise, if you wanna be a little healthier with this, try the cottage cheese. You barely can tell that it's like cottage cheese. I mean, I really like cottage cheese. Anyway, I can eat it by like the spoonful, but I think even if you don't like cottage cheese, this will still be good. Anyways, I'm gonna watch Love Island for a little bit. I'm on episode 34, I'm watching season six. I see a lot of people saying that season two and three i believe is even better and i am hooked on this so the fact that another season could be better i'm a little bit a little bit skeptical to be honest i don't believe it but i'm excited i just started at six because i figured like the most recent like up to date season but i'm gonna go back and start at two and then watch up to five i've heard not good things about season one but yeah i'm watching the uk i tried one episode of the australia but i watched like the first season of it and it was a little bit cheesy and like outdated so maybe i have to watch the most recent season but i'm really loving the uk version and i think i'm like two episodes away from the finale and I am so excited and I saw a lot of you guys ask the last time that I talked about this um where I watch it and this is on Hulu I'm not sure if you can watch it anywhere else but I freaking love Hulu Zane and I watch like a lot of shows on here so definitely a good subscription to have okay I'm gonna go eat before my food gets cold Okay, dinner was freaking amazing and I was craving something sweet and I was looking up recipes. I was gonna make like some sort of like healthy cinnamon cookie things, but then I remembered that I had this and I was like honestly small little piece of cheesecake and I ate pretty good today. Um so I'm gonna enjoy a little piece of cheesecake. I don't know what the point of me telling you this is, but it was in the freezer, so I'm letting it actually I should just take this off. I'm letting it um unfreeze a little bit and I'm on episode 35. I have one more until the finale. I'm so excited. My babies, what are you guys doing? You're so cute. I'm actually gonna end this vlog here because once I'm done eating this piece of cheesecake and let's be real, watching the last two episodes, I wanna watch only one, but I'm probably gonna wanna watch both. I have to um, get editing done. I have to send stuff to a brand, so I'm trying to find balance, but this show has me quite addicted. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I'm still staying productive, but uh, it definitely has my attention a lot. Oh my god, also, I was reading comments for my last video and a lot of you guys are shocked that we have to pay to go to the beaches here. Like on Long Island, you have to pay for a lot of, sorry Zane's playing video games if you hear him talking. On Long Island, we have to pay to get into parks. We have to pay for parking like everywhere. Um, we have to pay to get into beaches. Um, honestly, everything is just expensive on Long Island, but I didn't know that that wasn't a thing. I thought you have to pay to get into beaches everywhere. It's just funny how like different people grow up. You know what I mean? Like I didn't, I don't think twice about it. Like I just, know that you have to pay to get into beaches but i guess that's not normal everywhere it's so funny because there was just so many comments about it don't forget you guys click the link in my description to shop thread up get 30 percent off your first order with Alyssa. anyways you guys today's notification shout out goes to izzy g you were the first comment on my last video so thank you so much for having on your notifications i'm sorry about zane again but i'm not gonna tell him to shut up for me two seconds of filming thank you so much for having on your notifications i really really appreciate it and i love you so very much if anyone else would like a notification shout out you can comment down below letting me know you have my notifications turned on and you might be in my next video i love you guys so much thank you so much for watching and i will see you all next time bye guys oh, give me a sign baby give me a sign just give me
me one more Talking to you Here we go again Staying up all night to see if you've been texting me